The B-52 Stratofortress isn't just a relic of the Cold War. It's a living, breathing testament to American air dominance that refuses to fade away. This aircraft has been in service for decades, adapting to new threats and evolving with modern technology. While other aircraft have come and gone, the B-52 is gearing up to soar for a full century. How is this possible? What makes the upgraded B-52 a weapon of the future? Let's dive in and find out how this old war machine keeps on flying. In the twilight of World War II, the blueprint for the B-52 was born. It was a time when military powers were looking to the skies, seeking dominance through long-range bombers that could carry heavy payloads. By 1952, the first prototype took to the skies, a behemoth of a bomber equipped with six turboprop engines. It was heavy, slow and designed for high-altitude bombing. Fast forward to today, and the B-52 is a transformed machine, now powered by eight turbojet engines. It's faster, more powerful, and capable of covering three times the distance it could in its early days. This incredible evolution shows how the B-52 has adapted to meet the changing needs of warfare. During the Cold War, the B-52 became America's airborne muscle, patrolling Soviet airspace under operations like Chrome Dome and Giant Lance. These bombers were ready to launch a devastating nuclear strike at any moment. The sight of B-52s flying high above the ground served as a constant reminder of the US's nuclear capabilities. But after a U-2 spy plane was shot down in 1960, the strategy changed. The B-52 had to evolve, becoming a low-flying attack aircraft built for stealth and survival. This shift marked the beginning of the B-52's transformation from a high-altitude nuclear bomber to a versatile low-altitude combat aircraft. As the Vietnam War raged on, the B-52 proved its worth in the skies. To maximize its firepower, engineers introduced the Big Belly upgrade. This modification allowed the bomber to carry a staggering 60,000 pounds of bombs. During missions like the Battle of Ia Drang in 1965, the B-52's payload was so massive that shockwaves could be felt miles away. The aircraft unleashed devastating bombing runs that leveled enemy positions and sent shockwaves across the battlefield. Yet the aircraft wasn't invincible. In 1972, a missile strike over Vietnam marked the first time a B-52 was shot down by enemy fire. This event proved that even the most powerful aircraft could be vulnerable in a rapidly evolving combat environment. Despite its vulnerabilities, the B-52 adapted. In the 1970s, it gained advanced missile systems and radar jamming tech, transforming it from a lumbering giant into a more agile and lethal platform. By the 1980s, the B-52 was a multi-role powerhouse, capable of carrying anti-ship missiles, nuclear warheads, and even underwater mines. In naval warfare simulations, a pair of B-52s could survey an area the size of California in just two hours, making it a critical asset for maritime dominance. The B-52 wasn't just a bomber, it was a platform that could adapt to any mission anywhere in the world. But the B-52 wasn't just a bomber, it was a symbol of American resilience. Even as some models were retired, others found new life. Ghost Rider and Wise Guy, once left for dead in the boneyard, were pulled out of storage, restored and sent back into service, proving that the B-52 could rise from the ashes time and time again. This remarkable ability to bring old bombers back to life showed just how durable and reliable the B-52's design truly was. Today, the B-52 is more than a Cold War relic. It's a futuristic weapon, equipped with hypersonic missiles and cutting-edge radar systems. The Air Force has begun replacing its aging engines with the Rolls-Royce F-130, extending its operational life into the 2050s. Meanwhile, its new Dragons, eye radar pod and lightning targeting system allow it to spot and strike targets with pinpoint accuracy, even from 40 miles away. This combination of new technology and old school firepower keeps the B-52 relevant in modern warfare. In recent years, the B-52 has continued to make headlines. In 2024, it launched hypersonic missiles over Guam, a bold statement aimed directly at China and Russia. This show of force demonstrated the B-52's ability to deliver next-generation weapons against potential adversaries. And just months later, 
it led a massive air assault in Syria, striking over 75 ISIS targets in a single mission. Even after all these years, the B-52 remains a powerful weapon of war, capable of changing the course of conflicts with its overwhelming firepower. But what's the real secret to the B-52's longevity? The answer lies in its simplicity. Unlike stealth bombers packed with cutting-edge tech that quickly becomes obsolete, the B-52 was designed with rugged durability and versatility in mind. This straightforward design has allowed engineers to update its systems without overhauling of the entire aircraft, keeping costs low and operational efficiency high. The B-52's simple structure makes it easy to maintain and upgrade, ensuring that it can continue flying well into the future. Then there's the question of strategic deterrence. The B-52 may not be stealthy, but it's still a formidable threat. Its sheer size and bomb load capability allow it to deliver a powerful psychological impact. When a B-52 flies overhead, enemies know that the US can strike anywhere, anytime. A reminder that even the oldest warhorse can still pack a devastating punch. This psychological effect is as powerful as any weapon, reminding adversaries that the US has the capability to project power on a global scale. In the world of military aviation, few aircraft have a legacy as enduring as the B-52. Over the decades, it has seen numerous upgrades, each one extending its service life and enhancing its combat capabilities. One of the most significant upgrades involves its electronic warfare systems. By equipping the B-52 with advanced radar jamming equipment, the Air Force has made it possible for the bomber to evade enemy defenses and operate effectively in heavily contested airspace. This ability to adapt its electronics has allowed the B-52 to remain relevant even as new threats emerge. Another reason the B-52 has remained in service for so long is its unmatched versatility. While initially designed as a high-altitude bomber, it has taken on numerous roles over the years. From carrying nuclear weapons during the Cold War to launching precision-guided missiles in recent conflicts, the B-52 has proven capable of adapting to any mission. This adaptability is what makes it such a valuable asset for the US military, allowing it to serve as a strategic bomber, a maritime patrol aircraft, and even a surveillance platform. But the real question is, what happens when the B-52 finally reaches its centennial milestone? Will it continue to fly, or will it finally retire as a war hero with a legacy unmatched in aviation history? The Air Force faces a tough decision as the B-52 inches closer to its 100th birthday. Will they keep upgrading it, or will they finally let it rest, ending a chapter in military aviation that has spanned generations? Only time will tell if the B-52 will continue to dominate the skies, or if a new generation of bombers will take its place.